and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of a new foundation from Maybelline and it is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. This is available at the drugstore and this item has been getting a lot of hype and a lot of attention so I really wanted to give it a go. And this is actually my second time filming this video about this product because when I first got my hands on it last week, I filmed a first impression and I did like a wear test and we did check-ins and it was going to be a really fun video. And then I went to upload my footage onto my computer and it got corrupted and I couldn't get it. So I had to start from scratch. So <laughs> this is not a first impressions, but a review of the foundation because I have finally been able to gather my thoughts. So let's go ahead and get started um, in talking about this product. So this is available at drugstores, uh, Ulta, CVS, Target, Walgreens. I got mine at a CVS and it is $11.99. So if you go to like CVS or Walgreens, you could probably use a coupon. Um, also at Ulta they like to do like buy one get one free or buy one get one 50% off so the price point on this is really really good and it comes in 16 colors and so the shade range is not great but I feel like they do give you like an okay amount of options so it does go from light to dark definitely not the best but um, I'm hoping that they expand this because um, I have a lot of positive things to say about this. So I matched myself in store to 112 Natural Ivory. I do feel like a lot of the more fair colors do pull pretty warm and I'm pretty neutral. So I was actually worried that this was going to pull a little orange on me and that I was going to look a little ridiculous like I had spray tan. Um, but this actually matched me like perfectly. Like, I am so excited with how this matched because, like, the color that I am right now, it is literally perfection. So, again, color matching can be a little hard, but for $11.99, if you have to pick up a couple of colors and mix them together, I don't think that's a terrible, a terrible deal. Um, so, I had a lot of high hopes for this foundation because my go-to everyday foundation is actually the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And... I'm obsessed with this foundation. I've been using it for a pretty long time and their shade range is amazing. And I probably have like four or five colors of this and I'm constantly like mixing and matching as like I get more tan, less tan, winter, summer, whatever. So this is really, really good. So I was hoping that this would be a more full coverage version of this. And I am so excited to report that it is. So you can definitely build to a full coverage, but I wear it more on like a, I mean, it says matte and poreless, but I usually do like a luminizing primer underneath and then just mattify like my t-zone and where I get oily and um, for everyday wear this is like a perfect medium coverage like this is like a true medium coverage if you do one coat of this um, you can build it up to a full coverage but I think this is the perfect version of this in a full coverage if you want like easy non-buildable like one application and you're done so this claims to be full coverage foundation, up to 24 hour wear, seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant, oil free, doesn't clog pores. Yeah, so basically everything you want in a full coverage foundation. So for a drugstore full coverage foundation, I believe that that is like the most accurate way to describe this foundation because one coat of this really does cover basically your whole skin so what I like to do with this is I'll do one layer all over my face and then once I have that like canvas to work with I go through and I just add a little bit more to wherever I feel like I need a little more support like a little more coverage but even that like two layers of this is like max what you'll need I think um to get that like nice matte full face glam effect and this really does cover your pores really well and this kind of it does give you like a healthy coverage like it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a ton of makeup so it is definitely very lightweight they are on the ball on that it does say that it's oil free and it doesn't clog your pores I'm not 100% on board with that my pores are still a little gunky after I take this off so um it might be oil free but it definitely isn't like a won't settle in your pores 
once you take it off type of situation it is a little a little in there so which I like because that tells me that it's like really getting in there and really um, helping smooth my whole surface of my face so I actually don't mind that but it, I do think that it does clog my pores a little bit but not to the extent of like causing me to break out or anything like that which is great when I filmed this video last time I did do a wear test I think I applied the foundation at like 10 in the morning and then I went like all day and my final check-in was at like 9 p.m. and it lasted great all day long and with almost all my foundations because I am pretty oily um so I do have combination skin but I'm more oily than not and so I set everything with powder I'm like a powder freak I don't like to leave the house without powder with this foundation I did half of my face with powder and then half of it without and both sides at the end of the day looked exactly the same I didn't have to blot I didn't have to use any powder granted I was just like running errands I did go outside at one point but um, I wasn't like out in the heat sweating anything like that but even for a full day of just like lounging around doing chores like vacuuming doing dishes stuff like that it held up so well with no touch-ups with me touching my face with me like not really paying attention to it and just going about my day I think it lasted so 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 well especially for $11.99 like you can't beat that I don't think I actually have anything but high prices for this product um, and I think I'm gonna use it forever and ever until I can find something else to replace this this actually reminds me a lot of the co the new cover effects foundation that they just put out um, the one in like the square bottles with like the not the pump but the like squeezy tube I always forget what it's called but I just tried a sample of that and that was also amazing and so I was actually gonna go out and buy that and then I got my hands on this and I was like don't even need to go out and buy it like this this is such a staple on my vanity right now like I can't even say enough good things about this like I'm blown away by the quality of this and for $11.99 like that's insane so basically all of the things that this foundation claims to do I think it does do you get 24 hours of wear probably not <laughs> but um I wouldn't recommend like sleeping in it and like going out the next day in it it'll probably still look amazing but um I think it gives you like a really solid 12 hours of wear like you will not be disappointed if you want it to last even longer if you powder yourself up a little bit um it'll last you even longer so for like events or anything where you'll be out in the sun I think this is a perfect foundation for that also I did set my concealer so product over this goes on so smoothly so nicely nothing flakes off nothing patches off um, I basically used my like everyday like bronzer blush highlight like everything I normally use that I know works really really well and the foundation performed beautifully I've used this over a couple of different primers um a luminizing primer as well as a like mattifying pore filling primer and both were fantastic um no gripes about that and I also did try this on like just my moisturized face and it worked pretty good but I do recommend putting a primer underneath for longer wear but that's just my personal preference also in my original video I did half of my face with a brush and half of my face with a beauty blender for some reason I've started using brushes for my foundation I don't know why in my mind in the morning I feel like it's just faster so with the Maybelline fit me I actually kind of like my brush faster like I do like one coat with my brush and then I'll like go through and beauty blender or like beauty sponge anywhere else that I feel like I need a little more help a little more coverage with this I will say that I preferred using the beauty blender a lot more to really like press into your skin and normally I like dot foundation onto my face and then go in with the beauty blender here I was just taking my beauty blender picking it up off my palette like picking up the foundation off my palette and just going straight in and that worked so well so that is definitely my recommendation for this product is to just pump this comes in a pump which is also amazing that's like one of my favorite things I hate having to like dilly dally with my foundation especially in the morning so pump a couple of pumps onto your palette or onto the back of your hand take your beauty blender you know dot dot and straight into your face and a little does go a long way well I don't know if this is going to be a little to you guys but I probably use like three pumps for my whole face and that's including that second 
coat of like anywhere else that I feel like I need a little extra help. So these are both one ounce and I feel like I'm going to get a lot more use out of this product because it has a pump. Um, and I definitely use a lot more than three pumps of this on the daily. So I think this is going to last a long time. And again, I can't get over the price point, $11.99. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about this and it has definitely earned a spot on my vanity. I will be using this and comparing this to other things. Um, I'm thinking of maybe comparing it to like Fenty Beauty or something else like that that I have um, to see which performs better. Final thoughts on this is that it's definitely worth checking out if they have your shade and if they don't, but you can get away with mixing a couple. I would definitely do it. I think that this is a great product and I think that it performs beautifully. You do get you do get the wear. You know, it did say that it was transfer proof, but I never actually tried it, so I'm gonna try it right now. I have like a paper towel, um, so let's see if it's transfer proof. Yeah, pretty transfer proof. Um, like pressing my face on it, and nothing's coming off, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, this holds up to absolutely everything it says it does and I really really like it and I think you guys should definitely check it out if you've been thinking of picking this up um and yeah so that is the end of my review I hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel down below and if you guys want to follow me on any other social media I am on Twitter and Instagram as Carolina's Corner just like my YouTube name so please make sure to check me out there and I will see you guys in my next video bye